Public speaking is probably the largest numerical number of people in terms of phobias. I mean, there are a small number of people that are snakes, a small that are spider. And if you added up all the other fear of heights, fear of snakes, fear of spiders, all together, it probably would be a smaller number than public speaking. And I, I think our educational system and our clergy and well-meaning people install these fears in us and when we're young by forcing us to talk about things that we don't know, uh, choosing us suddenly, and also uh, making us worry about how other people see us, instead of worrying about how the audience feels. Uh, I teach a class called Charisma Enhancement, but uh, also even on the Phobia Day we do, and in the Pratt course we spend a whole day teaching people how to turn their fear into curiosity. Because if, instead of worrying about how you feel on the inside, you spin your feelings the other way, come out to your senses, and start looking at the people there and wanting them to feel better. Instead of paying attention to your stomach, you should be paying attention to theirs. Should be listening to the sound of your voice, watching how they breathe, controlling the tempo of your voice. And uh, probably it's not a good idea to talk about things that you don't know, although people do it all the time. And part of it is, is that people make these images of, of scary audiences and they hear their own voice cracking. They make a bad plan. And when I teach people to make a good plan, uh, it's, it's surprising how quickly they become good speakers. I take people who are absolutely phobic of, of getting in front of an audience, and a few days later they're getting up, uh, uh, you know, and they sound like comics and, uh, or worse, politicians. 